Let's see. Here we go. Well, while we kick off, we'll get going. I'll ask you to unmute to mute yourself. Excuse me. Um, this is some of you've been on my workshops before. Some of you are new. Thanks for being here. It's interactive. I'm going to call on you. I'm going to ask you to type some things in the chat because you can get tired of listening to me for the next 45 odd minutes till we go to Q&A. So let's have some fun. Let's let's enjoy this. We're going to learn five mat ways to massive, five proven ways to massive sales and results. That's one of the things I love about Action Coach. So we're going to get into that. Like I said, um, if you've got a question, just unmute yourself in the middle of it and just shout it out. Or you can even type in the chat. I got the chat up here. The chat just goes to me. So if you want to say something private, your name won't get shared. Depending what it is, it won't get shared. No. <laughs> but just put yourself in there. Um, so first, I always like to start off, I want to congratulate you on investing in you. Right? Because that's what going to a workshop is all about. Investing in ourselves, um, in, in our time, which is, as we know, our most valuable asset. And... We want business not to mean busyness, right? A lot of times we get into work, we've got a great plan, and next thing you know, what happens? We, we're checking emails. We're, we're, we're returning phone calls. We're putting out a fire. We end up putting on the fireman's hat, right? So we don't want to be busyness. We want it to be about, as business owners, and whether you're truly a business owner, and we also have some salespeople on here as well, you need to have that business owner mentality and truly be working on your business. And how you invest your time is one of the keys to your success. And one of the greatest ways, it's, I always screw up the quote, I'll try to get it right, is if you're not, you know, for your business, if you're not learning, you're not growing. And if you're not growing, then you're dying. So again, I want to congratulate you for investing your time uh, through education and being here on the workshop. So it's great to have you guys. So I don't know about you guys, who here likes dessert? Is it just me or is it, yep, all right. I like to eat dessert first. Now, of course, I didn't let my kids do that, except maybe on Saturday night. But uh, so let's share a little, a little dessert to get us going here. And for being here, we're gonna be offering complimentary coaching sessions. And that means you get with Action Coach and we're gonna help you take action now. And you're going to get to pick at the end a 30-minute coaching session where we'll just share, talk about how to implement some of the things you learned today. Or if you want to get into a 90-minute business strategy session where we dive deep into your goals personally, professionally, and how do we implement what we learned today and walk away from that 90-minute session with a 12-month growth plan for your business. And it's easy to book it. You're going to go to my website, which is webelieveingrowth.com. You go to the coaches. You go to, actually, it says Scott's calendar. Uh, I just updated that today. I should update the slide next time. Uh, and just, just book it. Nice and easy. We'll give, talk to you a little bit more at the end about what the strategy session is, a couple of things you got to do before that. Nice, easy stuff. Doesn't take you more than 15 minutes. But I want you guys to participate. So as we go along, I want you to be thinking. Do I want a 30-minute coaching session or a 90-minute strategy session? Again, because you're attending, we want to reward your investment of your time and do that complimentary. So a little bit about Action Coach, who we are. We are the world's number one business coaching firm. Uh, we've got more than a thousand coaching offices like mine. I'm a franchise owner in over 84 countries worldwide. Uh, Brad Sugars is our founder and award-winning author. He started from day one. And he started with a real simple vision. And that vision is world abundance through business re-education. So let's break that down for a minute. World abundance, what, is, what does that mean if someone wants to unmute themselves for a second and share what world abundance means to you? I would say access to valuable um, assets in the world, just being able to reach um, for as much as you want. Absolutely. That's definitely part of it. Uh, you know, think about it, like we were at, we were on the ABLE uh, meetup today. There's more, also in other ways we look at is there's, there was more than one health, health insurance uh, provider there. There's more than one business coach there because especially think about the Austin community alone, there's almost 60,000 small businesses. It's more than enough business for us all to be on the same networking call 
and find out who we connect with. And that's world abundance. We want to, I love working with other coaches because it's about helping and making the world, bringing more abundance to the world. The other part is the business re-education. Who here was taught to be a business owner? Anyone? Did anyone go to school, got a degree in business ownership? No. What do we do? We grow up and we're told, got to do a good in school so you can get a good job, right? You got to go to, you go to trade school. You got to go to college, whatever it is, so you can get a good job. And when we become business owners, we still have that employee mindset. And that's a big part of the re-education. We're going to a few times throughout today's workshop, we're going to talk about this is re-education of how we think about it. And that's really important to, again, shift. Now, whether you are the business owner, you bought a franchise, or you're a salesperson on a team, it doesn't matter. If you take an ownership mentality, an entrepreneurial mentality, and re-educate yourself on how you think about things, you are going to be successful. And that's a big part of when we coach with you what Action Coach is. And like I said, we, we coach over 15,000 businesses each and every week, which is great. If we're not sure how to fix a problem we're working on, I get to reach out to the Action Coach community and get help to bring to you. And you also, as you see, we got an opportunity here at our events to talk to other business owners and professionals in your area and do a quick networking. I hope you guys, you can see everyone's name. Um, reach out, find each other on Facebook and LinkedIn and reach out and connect. We've got great people here. So let's, again, that's the abundance. A little bit about me, who's your coach? These are my little ones. Uh, the oldest is on the left uh, and the little one on the right and that's the life with Josh and, uh, with Jesse and Josh. Uh, always a bunch of comedians, even to this day, the, the, the text messages they still send me as adults. That's my life raising these two. The, uh, my, my oldest one in the red shirt there loves this picture. He's eight years older than his brother, and he's obviously bigger. And this was taken about a year before he actually went into the Air Force. He served us proudly there in Special Forces for six years, and we're real proud of what he did. And then the youngest, well, the oldest doesn't like the picture anymore because the youngest is almost 6'5". He's a little taller than all of us. And uh, as the oldest will stay, I'll still give you one. <laughs> um, but the oldest, the youngest, excuse me, has just started his college career. He's playing baseball. He's hoping he, he can finish his college career very quickly and just get drafted and go, go pitch on ESPN one day. So um, my Yankees could have used them this year. <laughs> Anyways, been around for three decades. I know I'm older than I look. Uh, building businesses of all sizes. Sales, I've always been a senior VP of sales for a lot of company organizations. Building systems, systems in developing and how we implement it. And that's a big part of what we do in coaching. Creating systems and not just creating, but help you execute and implement on them. And just, I'm very passionate about work-life balance. You know, the other thing as business owners is sometimes when we open our own business, we end up having a job. And we work more and we make less. And we want to make sure instead of the business controlling you, we coach on how you control the business. And through that, through my career, I've generated over $6 billion in revenue for, for companies. And as I always say, for some of you have been on these before, my goal is to create the next billion, but not through my companies, for your companies. And I want you guys to have a piece of that. Who wants a piece of the billion? Anyone? Anyone? Couple? Good, good. All right. So the vital question is, can I be your coach today? Is that okay if we spend the next about 40 minutes we got to coach you guys and, and show you how we can build massive sales and profits for your businesses and for what you do? Awesome. So you guys ready to learn? I got this next thing and I added this recently to our workshops because we got to get into a learning mindset. And it's from this amazing book that I'm almost finished with. It's um, Limitless by Jim Quick. If you haven't read the book, I highly recommend it. And he says, when you're about to learn, you got to ask yourself three questions. And the first one, and again, getting into the mindset, and I want, you to, I want you to write this down. If this is the only thing you get from the workshop, this alone is going to help your business grow because you're going to get into a learner's mindset with the things you do. So the first question is this, how will I use this? I want you to think, how will I use this? And at the end, I'm going to ask you guys a couple of questions as we, when we wrap up on 
How, might, how will you use some of the things you've learned? Why must I use this? You know, why is it important to use what I'm learning? And the last one is when will I use this? That's, that's important because a lot of times we learn something, but we never use it. And I want you to think, when will I use this? And it might not be every second of every day or every day, but at some point, we're going to use it. So right, make sure you write it down. Do a screenshot if you want. How will I use this? Why must I use this? And when will I use this? And every time you're picking up a book, going to a podcast, a workshop like today, I want you to ask yourself that going in, setting your, what we call your RAS, your reticular activation system. That's the compass in your brain. And this is a lot of what we do in coaching, by the way, when we work with you is setting your RAS to make sure we're going to use what we're learning. All right. So to get the most out of today, we must be open to learning. And I know some people on here, we have kids or we've been kids or we, we have spouses and we have people in our lives when we talk to them, what do they say? I know. All right, we got a couple people. Has anyone said that to someone in the last week? How about that? Anyone? <laughs> no, of course not. But when we say I know, what are we doing? We're putting up a block. I'll make you a guarantee today. I guarantee you are going to learn something from me, hear something from me that you've heard before. I guarantee it. But here's the thing. I also guarantee if you're open, you might learn a new way to implement it or even just a reminder. So what we want to do is no, I know today. Is that fair? Instead, I want you to think about saying this if you hear something you know. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Because that leaves us open to hearing that maybe one, again, I just, but I just got off my coaching call. I have a coach every Thursday at 2. So right before here, we had it. And what was one of the notes I wrote down? What or how questions are great? I know that. I've been in sales for 30 years, but it was a great reminder. So I didn't say I know. I wrote it down to remind me that what and how questions are great and to not use why questions unless I really have to. So. That's the things you'll learn. That's the things we work on. At Action Coach, we talk about BFOs. And that's what we like to call that blind flashes of the obvious. So as you get a BFO today, I want you to do a couple of things. Either first, write it down. When you hear something like, oh, that makes sense, write it down. If you want, type it in the chat box so we can share it with everyone. Or just unmute yourself again. This is interactive. And share your BFO. Because if you have it, someone else probably had it. Or what I love sometimes that we, at the end, we go around, we let everyone share one BFO. It's like, oh, I, yeah, I remember that. It's a great way for us to, to learn and teach together. So Action Coach, as we keep going on here, has a definition of successful business, a commercial profitable enterprise that works. Everyone want that? That sound good? Commercial profit enterprise that works? How about one without you? And that means something different for everyone. For me, my goal is eventually to have coaches under me, more coaches under me. The business runs itself. I become more the CEO than just coaching. I will always coach some because it's my passion, but I won't coach 40 hours a week. I want to be able to, the other great thing is, guess where my coach was today? He was literally in an RV driving down a highway going through Ohio with his partner because they're on vacation. He's coaching from the RV, right? That's a business that works without him. <laughs> and he's bouncing around. He's literally like this. We're like, Doug, what are you doing? And he's bouncing around. He's in his RV. So that's a business that works without you. So you're going to learn today, when we talk about the five proven ways to massive sales and profits, how we implement those so the business will work without you. Remember, what you learn today, you're going to be sharing, taking back to your team. Now, I know some of you have a team of just one, and that's great. But eventually, you might have some people on your team. So you're going to learn that as well. So... We're doing sales, we're doing profits, that's what we're talking about today. And I want to talk about the ultimate blueprint for a successful business. And the first part is assets. 
So when we think about assets, we need to effectively turn them into what? Sales, AKA revenue. So type in the chat box, or if you want to unmute yourself, share with me one or two assets in your business that we need to effectively turn into sales. And I'll give you guys, if you want to chat, or as always, you can unmute yourself and shout it out too. Is that kind of like products or I, I don't know if I understand the question. It can be products, absolutely. What else can it be though? Are your, is your knowledge an asset? Intellectual capital, yeah. Right, and, that, and for your business, like Action Coach has a lot of intellectual capital, of course, for their business. But what about your being, you being here today at a workshop? That's gonna give you knowledge that becomes an asset. And how do we effectively turn that into sales? And I'm, I'm thinking time and effort. You're absolutely, we talked at the beginning about time being your most valuable asset. Absolutely. I did a post a, a week or two ago on your employees being the most appreciable asset you have. And instead of employees, actually team members. So how you get your team member to be more productive to, to produce more is the most appreciable asset you have for sales, right? We want to turn those assets into sales. Once we turn them into sales, we need to efficiently turn them into profits. So let's use the example of a plumbing company. I have one of my clients and he's, he's ready to buy a new, a new truck. Because sales are doing well, he wants to buy a new truck. Is it fair to say, would you agree, you nod your heads, that no matter how much that truck costs, we're going to get the same profit out of it? Excuse me, I pause, let me rephrase it. We're going to get the same revenue out of it? Right? That truck can only go around and handle so many jobs a day. So the, the revenue is going to be, is almost a set for each truck. What's not set though is the profit margin. So does he need, in order to get that revenue, do you think he needs to buy the brand new $40,000 truck or can he get a used $20,000 truck and still get the same revenue? How do we efficiently turn sales into profits is to understand we don't always need the shiny new toy, we can get the used one and it still does the same job, meaning getting the same revenue. So as we talk, obviously sales and marketing as we go along, I say this because I want you to think about that. Do we always have to spend the most on something to turn something into a sale? Do we have to give a $100 gift card when a $5 gift card works just as well for a referral? Right? So I want you to think about that. That's why we talk about that. And obviously profits, the fastest path to profit maximization is reducing the drag of expenses. Keith Cunningham. Uh, he's at Keith Action is here in Austin. He's he's got some amazing books out there. Uh, he actually does some different. He pre-COVID did some different workshops here. Go Google him. He's a great guy to uh, follow. And obviously profits. We want to productively turn into cash flow. Now today's not about cash flow. Today's about sales and profits. But to see how all that works, we need to, again, assets, we talked about some of the assets we have, turn into effectively sales, sales efficiently into profits, and profits productively into cash flow. And I want you to always think about that as we go through things. And here's the other thing. What, get, what gets measured is what gets managed, right? So what does that mean? That means KPIs, that means metrics. Do you guys, I want you to type in here, because again, this is important to us. If we want to double our profits, double our sales and double our profits, we need to manage. So type in the chat box or unmute yourself and shout out, what's one metrics KPI that you look at every week for your business? Whether you own the business or you're a salesperson in the business, what's one that you look at? So I want... I want full participation here. Either shout it out or type it in. Eric, go ahead. Looks like you're unmuted. Sales. Phone calls. Okay. Awesome. Phone calls. 
<clears throat> lead conversion. Lead conversion, right? Awesome. Great one, Chris. Thanks. Good to see you. Appointments. Appointments. Yep. How effective are the calls made to lead conversion to book the appointments? Great. Zoom meeting. Communication. Zoom it. Yes. I'm sorry, Gina, say that again. Communicating. Absolutely. These are just some of a whole bunch we can look at. And when we coach our, with you, we're going to set the KPIs. We're going to look at some are daily, some are weekly, some are quarterly, some are annual. So we need to be doing that. This is, again, as we want to get massive sales and profits, we need to have good KPIs. So some people think sales and marketing is an what? Anyone want to type in or shout it out? Selling. Selling, yeah. Not what I'm looking for. It's an expense. Now, every time you talk to your CPA and you report to the IRS, you're darn right it's an expense. We want the write-off. But what's the one of the things we've always been taught with expenses? Do we want to increase our expenses or reduce them? All right, we want to bring them down. So if we look in our business as sales and marketing as an expense, in my last company I ran, I would sit here and talk, and I didn't have this in my head two years ago. I would ask my CEO and my CFO, hey, we need to invest in, uh, we need to go buy leads list. We need this, we need that. And it was always an expense and we were a small company. So he said, no. Instead of me taking the approach of shifting their mindset, we need to invest in our people. We need to invest in this lead campaign. The expected ROI is, and we didn't, I didn't take that approach, so we didn't always get the money. So we need to look at sales and marketing not as an expense, but as an investment. And when we do that, we're more apt to grow our business, right? Now, some of the investments for sales and marketing is in dollars. It's, and Daryl, you pointed this out earlier, one of your answers to the question was, it's time. Our time is an investment. And how we use it can be an investment or an expense. So if we want to double our customers, we need to know how to make investments in sales and marketing. And before we do that, what are we going to do? We're going to test and measure. All right? Think about this. If you buy a Facebook ad and you've got, I've got $2,000 to spend on Facebook and you've never done it before, are you just going to put $2,000 straight into Facebook? Some people do that and then they don't get the result they want. When we coach with you, we're going to look at that stuff and say, let's test and measure it. Let's put $100, $200, we, enough that makes sense that we can get a feel for it so that we can see does it make sense to put the whole investment in? Same thing with our time, by the way. Do we go to, Mark, as you and I have talked this week, do we go on every Zoom networking event or just some? Right? We coach our clients to take, to take away the typical shotgun approach in trial and error so that we have laser focus and know where to go. So we, we want to test and measure everything we do and then figure out where we put it in. Now there's two sides to marketing, right? The first is the customer acquisition cost. So why don't you think in your business, and obviously it's simple math here, if you invest $300 in advertising, and you got 10 customers, simple math, you paid $30 for each customer, right? Now that's, here's the re-education, because that's how we typically look at it. So how do we reduce that? And it's looking at the lifetime value. Now, if you have that customer, that customer spends $550 and is with you for six years, that's over $3,300. So now, instead of that customer costing us $30, it really only costs us what? Was that about $3 over the lifetime? If I tell you, you spend $3 on a customer, you'll get $3,300 back. Would you make that investment almost every day? So again, how do we take marketing from a cost and expense to an investment and understand our ROI? How do we decide 
how much in a referral program, that's one of the workshops we did uh, about five, six weeks ago. We'll, we'll do that one again, building your referral system. Do we pay for referrals? You know, do we, does it make sense that if a client stays for six years, if I give away the first, 50% of the first months of their investment in, in my, my product or service, you can't just look at it that I'm giving up 50%. You gotta look at the lifetime profit on that client. And it can make sense to give away more than you think. So what I'd like to ask you guys is, I want you to think and um, you can type it in the chat or you can shout it out, but take, take 30 seconds. What is the lifetime value of your customers and clients? And if you don't know the number, think about, you can type in how long a client typically stays with you. Do they, I know Eric, you're in the, in the insurance business and, and Daryl, do they buy, continue to buy from you or do they buy multiple products from you? So that can be an example. I know Chris in the accounting field, they stay and there's multiple products you can use. So type into the chat box how either, if you know the lifetime value or at least how, how many years do they stay with you typically? I'm not sure what your question is, Eric. Referrals, um, that's part of it. Yeah, like how do you measure that as well? I guess you can trace it back to the individual client. That's fair. Yep, that's a great question for those. Uh, Eric typed in, uh, what about referrals in other businesses? Is that part of the lifetime value? Of course it is, right? If you, and by the way, again, that's what we coach on is a referral system. That's a big part of how we, when we coach, is how do we build a great referral, dependable referral system because that's a different workshop we've done on double your customers, which is all about your referral system. Mark, I know you shared a story the other day when you and I were talking that you come back, sometimes the client comes back a year or two later and you help them again. All right, that's. Yeah, 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 on a residential application, yeah, I do that uh, on a business if I get them to switch, I get a residual. So, you know, that's, you always want to, you know, get them to switch, but, you know, who knows how long they'll stay with you, you know? Yeah. It depends if they're happy or not with the carrier that they're, that they're with, so. Absolutely. So that's part of what we look at, the lifetime value. So we look at marketing. So, all righty. The five proven ways to massive sales and profit. We, oops, we see in the red, customers, revenue, profit. Those are just results. Meaning if I ask any of you, you could probably tell me within a small margin of error, how many customers you have, what your revenue is and your profit. Now for some of you, revenue and profit is the same number, depends on the business. Um, but those are results, you know those, right? Do most of you kind of know those results? Not in other heads there? Yep. Here's what I've learned in my almost 30 years of sales. And this is why I became part of Action Coach. Because this just, this resonated with what I always coached my companies on. I always wanted to win the president's trip, you know, to Hawaii and Cancun and Cabo and Aruba. Those are places a couple companies ago, years ago I went because I was one of the top reps. I never focused on what the number was to get there, the results. I focused on the activity it took to make those results, to influence those results. And that's what the five proven ways is about. We're gonna talk about the five levers we get to pull to influence the results, All right? Think about, we got any basketball fans here? Mike D'Antoni, who was the coach for the uh, Houston Rockets until the end of this season, and what he's built his, his coaching career on. He, once there was a three-point line in basketball, he says, that's all we're doing. We're shooting three-pointers. He knew he could influence the results of the score 
if he could shoot better from three-point land than everyone else. He also knew he didn't have to make as many three-pointers because he got 50% more return for making that shot, three versus two, that he could have a smaller in percent, he could have a, a lower conversion rate, success rate, and still have a better score. So how do we do that in business? There's five levers. So the first one is the number of leads. Now the number of leads is how we start our sales funnel, right? Number of leads is all about marketing. The rest of the five ways is sales, but the number of leads is about marketing. How do we increase our leads? And Chris, one of the answers you gave out a, a few minutes ago, yep, quality of leads, absolutely. You're absolutely right, Daryl, we're gonna talk about that too. How do we convert those leads into customers? Those are the first two levers we get to pull. Now we got these customers, how often do they buy from us? The number of transactions. And when we do your five ways, and whether we do it afterwards in the 30 minute coaching session or we get into the whole 90 minute strategy session, this is what we're gonna go over for you guys. And that's what we want you to participate and take advantage of that offer. How many, how, we look at the annual numbers here. Once they're buying from us, are they buying often from us? And what's the average dollar sale, right? That obviously becomes the revenue. We got some simple math here. I know it's not too complicated. If you're not a math person, don't worry. <laughs> and the revenues times our profit margin obviously gives us what? Our profit. So this is the five ways. We coach on this almost weekly with our clients. You see this, you've got the, uh, the five way sheet up there. This is a big part of coaching. We want to get a return on the investment in coaching. And we're gonna help you increase that. We're gonna dive into how we do that. And we work on this. We report, by the way, imagine in your business if you just focused on those five levers, meaning those five KPIs, number of leads, my conversion rate, how often they buy from me every year, and the average dollar sale. And depending on your business, for some profit margins is what it is. Others, we can influence that. Imagine if you just wrote that down right now and said, after today, I am going to focus on as many of these five levers, do you think your business will increase in the next 90 days? Is that fair to say, right? But guess what? We're gonna talk about how to influence them, so don't worry. <laughs> Told you, we're gonna walk out of here with strategies. So here's a, 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 an Action Coach client, just to show you how the numbers work. They got 4,000 leads annually. They convert about 25%. That means 1,000 customers. Each customer buys twice a year from them. And the average dollar sale is about 200. So they've got revenue of 400,000. Again, don't worry, we're doing the math for you today. <laughs> um, the profit margin for them is 25%. They're making 100 grand. That's a nice small business, right? That's a nice business to have. Now we're gonna show you how the five ways business chassis works. How do we influence these numbers? How do we get to double in revenue, double in profit? By the way, which number do you care more about? Your revenue or your profit? Type it into the chat box. You can do an R or P if you want to abbreviate it. Which one matters most to you? Yeah, profit, 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 absolutely. Revenue, I love when we talk with a client or a prospect and they go, I wanna get big, I wanna be a million dollar company, a $5 million company. I can build you into a $5 million company pretty easy. Doesn't mean you're gonna take home a salary. And then I'll say to them, well, share with me, how much money would you like to be able to pay your mortgage, take your family on the uh, vacation, have a nice, whatever car you want, go out to dinners, you know, wine, whiskey, beer, purse, whatever, to live your life and put money into retirement. How much do you need? And so we go to that and we connect the dot to that's profit. So if I can help you create a half a million dollar profit from your business, do you care what the revenue is? No. 
The less revenue you can bring in for the more profit, the less work you do, by the way. <laughs> right? Now, we again, we coach you on how do you have a business that works without you. We can bring in a team. We do all that. So let's see how do we fix these numbers. Now, here's the important thing to understand in life. I'll take a bunch of singles, being the baseball guy I am. You can see the, the baseball player behind me. That's my youngest. Um, I'll take a bunch of singles instead of trying to hit for home runs all day long because the singles add up. We don't need big results to influence. So we're going to talk about what a 15% increase can do. So we know, we know what the five ways are. We've got this client who's doing $100,000. If we can increase their leads by 15%, that gives them 4,600 leads. So what do you think are one of the ways we can increase leads? Without spending money, by the way. Anyone got an idea? Network. Yeah, referrals. Network, referrals, yep, those are good ways. Also, if I asked you to type in right now your target market, could you give me a real strong definition of who your target audience is, who your ideal client is? Right? We need to know who our ideal client is, and we work on that in coaching because we want to know where they're hanging out. I love when someone says, well, all the small businesses in Austin, that's not a target market. That's a, I'm going to take a net and throw it into the ocean and hope I catch a tuna. But if we know, hey, from a fishing analogy, I want salmon and trout. Well, I know what river to go and what time of year to go catch the salmon. And just like the bears do it, it's fish shooting fish in a barrel, right? I know what river to go get some trout. And if I know it's trout, I know what kind of bait they take. And I'm not a fisherman, but... Um, Right? So it's like shooting fish in a barrel when you know what barrel to look in because you know what your target market is. Now, once we know our target market, now when uh, someone yelled, uh, uh, shouted out a great answer about referrals, when we talk about our referral system, if I just call, call you up and say, hey, Gina, I'd love a referral. Small business owners, if you got one, send it to me. Does that really give you any direction and make it easy for you to give me a referral? No. But how about this? Hey, Gina, I'm really focused on helping small business owners who's typically been in, in business for anywhere at least two years and have four to 15 employees. Industry's not too important to me, but they're, they're also profitable. Do you know any business owners who fall under that? That's more specific, right? And now I want to make it easy for Gina to give me a referral. Gina, if you do what I'd love, I want to make this easy. If you could just send an email and introduce me and, and Eric via email, I'll take it from there. And by the way, our referral program pays you, blah, blah, blah. So I just gave you my target audience. So now you can, right away, your brain starts to think. All right? So one of the ways for leads is we've got to know our target audience. So we know where they are. Now we know we can start scripting out the messaging, right? So does it sound, if we just even just focused on target audience, understanding, defining that, do you think that increases our leads a little bit because now we know where to go? We have, do I have it in front of me? I don't. We have, a, by the way, over 380 strategies that fall into these five ways. We're not going to go over 380 today. What's another way to increase leads? We talked about test and measuring with, with maybe a Facebook ad. But again, we got to know our target audience. Especially if you've done Facebook ads, if you don't know your target audience, you're just going to waste your $2,000 or your $200. So that's just one of the ways through coaching, we're going to work on increasing our number of leads. And then the other part, you know, Gina, you were the one who gave the answer is building a referral system. Is it fair to say, would you, would you agree or disagree that 
if we have a proper referral, referral system, we could double our business from our current business. We do it all the time at Action Coach for our clients. So now we've increased our leads just by 15% by that. So how do we increase our conversion rate by 15%? Any ideas? Anyone want to type one in or shout it out? Training, just getting better at, just get better at your presentations. And... Training's a big one, absolutely. Absolutely good one. Thank you, Daryl. How about scripts? Scripts, and this is a big thing we coach on, scripts increase conversion rates by 40% and more. Solve their problem. Yep. All right, we gotta show we can solve their problem. Absolutely, Gina. And how do we do that? Have the right script. We can script it. Do you think I scripted out the presentation today? I have, now I've done this presentation a lot. I have some notes that obviously show that you guys don't see. It's just bullet points, but I've written, I've scripted this out before I got here. Now I don't read the script today. When I was cold, in my career cold calling, I printed the script out, I had it right here on my side. I had a script that I read. And right before I started my cold calling, I read the script, I put it on the side and then I just went. We wanna script every piece of our business. What I said, when the, the role play I did with Gina on referrals, that was a script. I know that. That is my referral script. I, I sat here and wrote it out. We don't sound scripted, but we know it. That alone increases conversion rate by 40%. Now, back to what we did on, on target audience. If you know your target audience, you're going to know the proper messaging so you can create the best script. The other part, and Daryl said this too, again, these are just small things we do. Train, do we train our people on it? Have we created a system and process for our people to use to use the script? You should have a script when the phone rings. You should have a script for LinkedIn, for email. Do you have a script for referrals? Do you have a script for customer service, right? Each part of the process, because we want to turn them into lifetime clients. So it sound fair just by doing a couple of those things, we can increase by 15% conversion rates. So now, just by a 15% increase, we've increased our number of customers by over 32%. Who wants 32% more customers before the year's up? Anyone? We all do. Can we handle 32% more? And that's, Something we ask all the time, we want to make sure as, as our clients can handle that and we coach on that to build a system and process. That's a different question. So now we've got customers, we want to increase the transactions to 2.3%. Even if we don't do anything else here, is it fair to say that if we have the target audience, we've got the right messaging, we've scripted it out, that that alone is going to probably get them to buy more from us? Is that fair to, fair to say? Got the right clients, we're talking their language. We can just, this is why scripts throughout the whole process are so powerful. But what are some other ways we can increase the number of transactions? Anyone got a thought? Asking more questions from your clients and finding out if they have more problems that you can solve. Sure, that goes into upselling, absolutely. So think about this. What's the greatest script ever created for upsells? And if you've been on one of my workshops before, you might have heard it. Anyone know the greatest script ever to ask a simple question? Do you want fries with that? It's the greatest script ever. So, and this is why I think McDonald's is making a mistake putting up the kiosk for you to order your own food now, by the way. But they didn't ask my opinion. You go into a McDonald's over the years, if you have. Do you want fries with that? It increases the revenue by about 40 plus percent. But it increases the profit margin even more because it's fries, it's potatoes. It's one of the highest profit margin items they sell. So by that script in asking, 
not only do we increase the number of transactions, we've also increased the average dollar set. So you see how these levers start to pull. Think about a lever system. You know, have you ever seen the ropes and they go like this? They start pulling together, right? Other ways to increase the number of transactions. Let's say you have a, for some of our clients who have a storefront, you know, you go into a, a, a 7-Eleven. How many times do you or your kids grab the little something that's right there and add it to the order at the last second? Right? Now, for some of you, you don't have a storefront. Actually, looking on, online, I don't think anyone here has a storefront. But you can have a brochure that catches their eye and they ask for it. Right? I know Chris, who has a CPA firm, also does payroll and might have a brochure there when they were coming to the office that, oh, you do payroll too? Oh, let me talk to you about that. Just some simple ways to do the number of transactions. Another way is, do your clients know everything you sell? Raise your hand if you think your clients know at least 80% of the things you can sell them. One hand, right? So, I love this story that one of our action coach clients shared with us a while ago. His client was a, uh, a contractor and long story short, he, his, he built the fence for his neighbor. And then the next year he sees his neighbor has another guy out there building a, 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 a deck out back. And he's really pissed off about it, to be honest. And he finally walks over after a few days, a student knocks on the door and is like, hey, John. Oh, hey, Bob, how you doing? Oh, great. Cause you get a question for you. He goes, did you like the fence I built for you? He goes, oh, absolutely. I refer you out all the time. He goes, then why didn't you ask him to build your deck for you? What do you think his answer was? You build decks? Just think about that in your business. So just those two things, is it fair to say will increase the number of transactions by 15%? Fair to say it probably increases the average dollar sale as well. So what do you think the revenue's at now? Look what those small increases do to revenue for this client. By the way, now I know some of you can't raise your prices, but for those who can, are you raising your prices every year? We coach all the time, you gotta raise your prices. And everyone's expecting you can raise your prices. And also that's one way to increase profit margin. We've talked earlier about the ultimate blueprint of successful business, understanding how do we buy our assets to have more profit. So when we do all those things, and we're moving along here, what do you think our profit, our, our profit is now? It's up. It's up to double. So this is, again, the five proven ways to massive sales and profits is understanding how to pull these levers. Now, when we coach you, we're going to figure out of the 380 plus strategies we have, which ones are best for your business. Because they're not all for your business. Every business is different. That's why we customize what we do with each client as we coach you every week. Who wants to double their profit? Anyone like to double their, their, their profit, their income, right? This is what the five proven ways is. Think about it. That's a massive 76% increase in revenue and 102% increase in profits. Let me ask you this. Does anyone think we went out through anything that's like rocket science It's difficult to do? Do you think you can probably implement some of this on you now that you focus on it tomorrow for your business? So what do we say? We guarantee you're going to walk away with strategies you can implement. That's what we do. Now, with coaching, we coach you to, to put it on, like I like to say, to add rocket fuel to that rocket ship, to get you to this, to get you to, I want to wrap your head around this. That's for fun. What if we had a 50% increase? We all know what the numbers are. Look at what they do now. Do you think some of the things we talked about could probably do a 50% increase in some of these levers? Is that a, a fair assumption? If we really get laser focused on what we do, we get into a coaching program, we do this. Who wants 20, 225% more customers, anyone? Again, though, the question is, can you handle it? 
We coach on that. Coaching isn't just sales and marketing. But look at that. Who wants a million dollar business? Anyone? Some of you already have one. Who wants them even more millions? What do you think the profit is? Well, you can try to do the math. We'll get through it. Who would just buy a 50% increase like to do that? Is that nuts? But this is what we do for our clients. Now, we don't do it in a day or a month, but over them coaching with us for a lifetime, for some clients it's in a year, some it's two years, some it might be longer, it depends on their goals. But do you think that's, that's possible to do or are we being crazy here? Is it possible in your business? I know we've got someone, I know Daryl, you're just starting out, so how do we get you there quickly? Right? Dreams can and do come true. And I want you to think about, start thinking like an entrepreneur. What is your plan for the future? The great thing I love about our action coach community and our process is every 90 days, and some of you uh, have seen my post last month on Growth Club, we get everyone together, we do a 90 day plan. We need to plan your future. And one of the things we do as your coach is we push you to dream bigger because we show you it's possible, right? You've got to change the way you do things now though. You've got us, for some of you, I know you have a growth mindset. You know, for others, we've got to get into a growth mindset. And we've had a year where it's hard to do that. But you know what I'm most proud of this year when I look at my clients? Is that 75% of them aren't just growing profitably, they've hired more people to support the community during this. Because we've had a growth mindset. We've implemented the five ways and they're growing their business. One of my clients who owns a marketing company um, does LinkedIn marketing, has doubled her business this year, right? My HVAC, residential HVAC client, we just ran his numbers for this nine month period versus last year. He increased through coaching, we've increased his, rev, his uh, net profit that's the money he takes home by 70%. Would that change your life? All right? These are the things we do when we implement the five ways. What would you do with more profit in your business? All right? Who wants more profit and income? Awesome. What well, good. So what, I want you to shout out, remember we said we're gonna do some BFOs, and we're gonna go into Q&A as well. What's one of the BFOs you guys learned? Either type it in or unmute and shout it out. I've been talking way too much. God, it's almost an hour, it went by fast. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna get the same results. That's true. Eric, what's your BFO? I'll just call on you guys, how's that, get ready. Um, I love it. What gets measured gets managed, measure results, change activities. You got it. Yep. Mark, like doing scripts. Absolutely. Chris, learn, learn how to comp compute lifetime value. Yeah, absolutely. Gina, what do you got for us? What'd you learn today? Nothing, Scott, you stink. <laughs> um, I mean, I like the part, the referral part, because we all, as business owners and entrepreneurs, we kind of forget about that. And that's, to me, it's a huge thing. You've already got somebody there. Think about if you've got 100 customers, how about they each refer two people? You know, I mean, that's, to me, that's big. We, we forget about it. So many, many years ago, thank you. That's a great one. I, I worked for Merrill Lynch as a financial advisor a long, long time ago. And Merrill Lynch um, put out a survey and they asked two questions. The first one was, how many of you would give your financial advisor a reference? And for the sake of time, I'm going to just shout out the answers. 85% said they'd give a reference. Excuse me, a referral. That's not too surprising, right? It's the second question that blew me away. How many of your advisors asked for one? 12%. Do you think Merrill Lynch has at least 100,000 clients? 73,000 people were ready to give a referral. A, a, a referral and weren't asked. And Gina, to your point, do they give one or more? They give more. More. 
So when I say you can double your business, we could just do the five ways on the referral program. Good stuff, everyone. So let's wrap up. Jim Rohn, a great guy. I think he passed away recently. Never wish your life were easier. Wish you were better. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job. And again, guys, I want to congratulate you for investing in yourself today, in your business. This is what working on your business is about, your education. Brad Sugars, who is our, our founder, and I've, he's still well involved 30 years later. I've, um, I had lunch with him in January right before COVID. I was back there for some additional training. Great guy. Where you'll be in five years will depend on the books you read. That's all about education, books, podcasts, workshops. The people you associate with, who are the five people in your circle? They're the five most influential in your business. Think about that in the actions you take. We're called action coach for a reason. So who's ready to take some action? We've learned a lot today. So here's the fun part. We're going to put some things out there for you. One, for yourself, you know other salespeople, we have our sales scalers program. It's group coaching for businesses that just need instant growth. We want to grow. We're just going to work on the five ways. But you have to commit to four to five hours a week working on your business. And the, the goals we want to get into one-on-one -on -one coaching. And what we do is we meet twice a month with a group of up to six people for up to an hour via Zoom. And we work on the five ways for your business. All the things in the 382 strategies we have, we figure out and we work on those every, every session. And it's easily affordable. It's $450 a month. That's not much. And we've got a group of great people. Now, the great thing for you being here today, we want to reward that. And if you sign up for that by tomorrow, we're going to give you the, if you do the three months in advance, we're going to give you a big discount. And you can go to our webelieveingrowth.com website, Scott's calendar. You'll see sales scalers. Click on that so we can get you enrolled. We can talk about your business and we'll get you enrolled on that. And by the way, we do guarantee our results. We guarantee, we have a 17-week guarantee that if we can't find our fees, show how your 12-month your, your investment in coaching, we will get that back to you in profit, not revenue, then we coach you for free. So we guarantee what we do. So that's sales scalers. Now, and this can be great for your company too, for the sales teams as well. The other thing we talked about is we got complimentary coaching session. Again, go to the website and book yours. You can do a 30 minute where we can just talk. We can talk about anything you want. Obviously, we can talk about how you implement what we learned today, or we can get into a 90 minute strategy session. And how do we create your five ways, which means we're going to go through your real numbers, not the numbers of another client we used here. And again, just go to the calendar. We'll do that. What's great about this is you're going to build your five ways and you're going to create your top two challenges and opportunities and just need you to schedule yours. If, once you schedule yours, we're going to send you a questionnaire. It takes you less than 15 minutes. It allows us to have some information so we can come prepared to help you that day. So just need 15 minutes of your time if you want to schedule that one. Sound good? Yes, sounds good. Awesome. So... I want you guys, as soon as we're done, to go to the website. Because what we find is 97% of people attend a workshop, do nothing. Our goal is 100% participation. Don't want you to do nothing. We're here to help. And some of you, we've had a couple coaching sessions. Go book a 30-minute one. Let's review. For some of you who are new to Action Coach and myself, book the 90-minute. Let's see what we can build for you. You'll walk away with a 12-month growth plan your five ways to go implement, and we'll review a coaching program as well, see what makes sense for you. And in the end, you wanna go do it yourself? Go do it yourself. Our job here is to help our, our why is about building business. So I want you to think, I know we're up at our time. I'll stay on for a few more minutes if you want to. Um, I already got one person who's gonna book the 90 minute. Awesome, we'll see that as soon as we get that through the email when you book it, we will send you the, the questionnaire, love it. We got another one for a 30 minute, love it. I want you to walk away today and list the five ideas that you need to take today. I want you to write that down up to five. And then like I said, get with us. We're here to help you. All right.
like I said, I know we're at the, the end. I Congratulations for being here. I thank you for the opportunity to, to coach you today. I'd love to help you more. I, I'm going to stay on for a little bit. If you've got some more time, you've got some questions, throw them at me. Let's go.